Hello there weight loss losers. Today is Wednesday, January 20th, and this week we're talking about replacement meals, healthy alternatives to foods that we've all eaten in the past when we weren't paying attention to weight loss, and what we can tell you is a good alternative to those pesky, horrible foods, but healthier versions. I used to have two boyfriends back in the day, Ben and Jerry. Oh yes, we had a torrid affair and let me tell you, I had them almost every single night. Do you know that there's four servings in one of those pints of Ben and Jerry's? I know most of us probably think that that's one serving, but no, there's four servings in that pint. Well, I used to have one of those pints probably every other day. Yes. And do you know that most of those pints, when you total up the four servings, have over a thousand calories in them? Hmm, so that's probably why I was gaining or maintaining at that way high weight. What's a healthy alternative to Ben and Jerry's? Froyo. Oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, Froyo is your friend. I think for under 200 calories, you can have a serving of frozen yogurt, just the yogurt. Now here's where you get in trouble. All those additives, you might as well be cutting up a chocolate bar and throwing it on there. Be careful with that. I'll admit that I do get carried away sometimes with all the crazy toppings, but if you get Froyo and you put a little something chocolatey on there, but you put fruit as well, you can cut that thousand plus calories that I used to do with Ben and Jerry's down to two or three hundred calories. And it's just as good, if not better, and the little creepy crawlies in yogurt that make you poop are even better for you because then it regulates your system and all that fun stuff. I don't have to educate you on frozen yogurt or yogurt. I think you know what I'm talking about. Awesome alternative. Second alternative, pizza. Who doesn't like pizza? I'm sure Jason tomorrow will be pizza fanatic. I recently found goat cheese pizza at Trader Joe's. It's about that big. If you watch blog TV, you know what I'm talking about. 560 calories for the entire thing. That's two servings. So 560 calories for a personal pizza with goat cheese and spices and oh my god, it's ridiculously good. Now if you were to have a few or four or five or six regular slices of pizza, you'd be way up past a thousand yet again. So that's another healthy alternative. Trader Joe's is your friend. I think we should all create a Trader Joe's diet. Alternative number three. I am a chips and salsa fanatic freak azoid. It's my favorite thing in the world. An amazing alternative to that to get the crunch of the chips and to be able to dip into something. I know it's kind of a strange comparison, but this is my alternative for deep fried tortilla chips and lots and lots of queso and hot sauce. Queso is cheese, if you don't know, probably mixed with salsa and other sorts of thingies, but can't just sit there with chips and salsa and queso and eat blobs and blobs and blobs of it. I would go way over a thousand calories, probably into two thousand calories the way I used to eat them. Awesome alternative. Trader Joe's Gorgonzola crackers. They're about this big by this long and Trader Joe's cilantro and jalapeno hummus. Hummus. What I do is I take 30 of them, 30 of the gorgonzola crackers, which is only 140 calories, and two tablespoons of the hummus is 40 calories, so you can go a little over that, depending on if this is a snack or a meal or what you're doing. And I get the crunch, like the chip, and dipping, and it's fabulous. Those crackers are fabulous. Please put that together if you haven't already. When I was checking out, even the dude at Trader Joe's was like, that's gonna be good. Yes, buddy, it's dang good. So I hope those three suggestions help somebody out there. If you haven't, please try them. They're amazing and I think you'll enjoy them very much. I would love to see your comments kind of discussing what you've turned a naughty meal into a healthy alternative meal and 
I'm curious to see what everybody else says throughout the week because we all know all the weight loss losers trigger foods so I have a feeling we all know that pizza's coming tomorrow. Pretty safe to say. I hope everybody's doing well. Keep losing that weight and I'll see you next week. 